teenagers over the weekends. They go out to parties. Some take drugs. You cannot run away from that. And at that time, then, they decide to, to, to indulge themselves in sex, and the condoms are not there. So those are some of the things, really, that uh, make one feel that uh, the program must not just end in those three weeks in which you have planned it for. So it must be an ongoing thing so that, uh, you know, they go back to it time and again. And in a way, it's going to be imprinted in their minds. Pressure from friends, the high occurrence of gangs, alcohol and drugs, all increase high-risk behavior. When alcohol and drugs are taken, they make you feel careless and all the things you've learned about AIDS just don't seem that important anymore. Knowledge doesn't always change behavior. It's, and it's easy for the guys to lie. But she still believes. Because I'm sure of him. So I can't tell him to use the condom because what I know is going to stick to me and he's the only one that I've got. And then, and another thing, he, I don't think they will do anything wrong. I really like having some other girlfriends on the other side. Maybe she will be lucky. But as women, we have to look after ourselves. Nobody else will. We have to try, by all means possible, to get him to wear a condom. I don't know if how many girls she, she, he had got before he, he came in love with me. And he doesn't know how many boys I had before uh, I've been in love with him. I had an affair with him. So he understood me when, when I told him about condoms and he is using condoms. Only a worldwide effort could stop it. So listen to the prophet as I drop it. Don't be careless, stop the awareness. And maybe next time you might bear this in mind. And I'm sure you will find with some awareness we can save mankind. And I'm serious, our lives are in danger. Sleeping with a stranger, you could die. Parents did change because after we had the uh, AIDS awareness program, we had a parents meeting. And a lot of the parents or I'd say most of the parents actually at the meeting were very pleased that we actually did run this program because um, parents might not want to face reality what their children are getting up to. Communication between parent and child should be an in thing. You must tell your child the correct thing. It's no use running away from the truth because the children do know these things. What I uh, did not like, some of the teachers, they hide something. They don't t tell us direct things which we are asking. Like? Like when we are asking about uh, masturbation, they don't want to tell us what masturbation is. If you are going to run an AIDS program, you must be well informed and be prepared to answer sensitive questions. It is not always easy to talk about sex, and sometimes people react strangely. There were rumors after we shared this program, and then they came up some rumors that um, the children from our schools got AIDS. Things like this give you an opportunity to talk to more people about AIDS. It takes the issue beyond the school into the community. At the beginning, at the time of the program, there was enormous interest in using condoms, and um, I, had to comp I had to continually replenish my stocks. But um, that interest has waned. And, uh, and I take it the interest in, in AIDS is, has waned as well, if I, if I use that as a correlation. Mm -hmm. um, and so it, it, it tells me that there is a need to possibly once a year to, to, to have such a program mm -hmm. to keep the children on their toes and to keep them informed. Only a worldwide effort can stop it, so listen to the prophet as I drop it, so don't be careless, stop the awareness, and maybe next time you might bear this in mind, and I'm sure you might find, with some awareness we could save mankind, and I'm serious, our lives are in danger, I'm sleeping with a stranger, you could die angels, glad that I shed some light, gave some insight about wrong and write a few minutes of joy, could destroy your life, it doesn't matter if you're a man or boy, because hey, that a pain, we're getting worse I'm afraid it's hitting for a curse Blood transfusion and dirty needles Casual sex, all through the people at the risk of catching 
and it quietly abuses this whole syndrome. And it's dead blue with his end of course. He could go to bed and then he could spread. He could end up dead, so please teach your head.